Yatua and Samno Sua, when my young folk Muntaka Mubarak Edia to a Jasse. As ya are ya boy, a friend, no Ministry of Monitoring and Evaluation, no, and for so be any hunty, young ton train. Now a cool cool be war or may more, a disagreed man that than the Atayan or so name for so. A free upper pong, a copum openima, general copum December, Bosman will fame pin be no any edu enkuno, seek a sum under the Samoa, monitoring and evaluation, as you and your Mudicoma, a big creature, seek a sum sonno, and a Mudicoma, she be drum and men no mobo home. Now on Munya for Munta Camuba, a castle, one summer, she be jenny, a cassatra say, Sir, as you will say, dear, a bind a friend, and see a bocca, and for so be a no most suntia by ancient. I have, I will turn and turn again, and I so strongly believe. This ministry is not necessary. This ministry is just not necessary. Because if you talk about the even one the one f as the major activity that they claim they are carrying over that period of 2019, you simply ask, what is the Reform Authority doing, not the Reform Authority doing? You establish these institutions to do, take care of those things. Now we create another ministry that is duplicating effort. And if you look at the report, and all the challenges that they claim they are having. These are functions of other ministries and other agencies. We really don't need this ministry. And I think that we need to come back for this ministry to be scrapped. Because in my view, it is just a waste of state resources allocating over three point something million for a ministry that doesn't do much. And I'm someone who now for say chairman Sabunsu. And I don't do now no need a yin and say. The core functions include as we are told, and in fact, more of more relevance to us to coordinate, monitor, and evaluate the efficiency and effectiveness of policies and programs across all the sectors. That's the core function of the ministry. The speaker, they are also to deepen transparency and accountability. They exist to service the executive, and that really will improve our governance. That is what we need to do. The lamentations as we are pouring out, Mr. Speaker, will not add too much if we do it within ourselves, within the parliament, introspect and do what is right. So as to put government on its toes. So if today we are evaluating the performance of the Ministry of Monitoring Evaluation, by our own account, what we are stake are we employing to judge government? Na Boga Tanga Mashibi Jani, on Munya for Isaac Adongo and Sudina no Etu. The speaker, we found that the key challenges of the ministry was the provision of capital goods that will assist with their work. And for two years consistently, the ministry had not had releases to be able to procure the needed capital equipment that they need to be able to do their work. It is in this light that in approving this report, we would like to encourage the Ministry of Finance to empower the Ministry for Monitoring and Evaluation to be able to procure these items to facilitate its work. And so, Mr. Speaker, I would like to call on my colleagues to approve this report, but to encourage the Ministry of Finance to make more resources available to this ministry so we can have a fair understanding of how we have delivered on government activities.